Is he a bird? Is he a plane? Is he... Uh. Brian Connolly, Saturday at 9 on Plus. All's quiet on the West End front in Minder at 8, here on Plus, after Who Do You Do? Captain Silver, sir, I've just found a beautiful girl stowaway in hold number three. Well, send her to my cabin, and I'll show a hold number four. <laughs> 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 I got out of Alcatraz by tunneling through solid rock for six years, Stanley. <laughs> really? <laughs> Stupid, really. I was only in for 18 months. You're an upset, aren't you? Aww. That's the end of that one. <laughs> greetings, greetings, good citizens, and salutations. The prologue. Our story this week. To oh dear. Oh, it's not cold. No, this story this week is about Oedipus. Now, Oedipus was a lad who took after his mother from time to time. And, <laughs> and it came to pass. Oh, whoa, whoa, and thrice whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's asked like an old face. Oh, dear. <laughs> the soothsayer, Senna, forever on the go. <laughs> Come, say your sooth and get off. Oh, I look into my crystal, and uh, what do I see? <gasps> what do I see? I see you are going on a long, long journey, and then coming back, I can see two tunnels. You silly old fool. That's your nose reflected in the crystal. <laughs> Just an old-fashioned girl with an old-fashioned mind. Not sophisticated, just a plain and simple kind. I want an old-fashioned horse with an old-fashioned fence and an old-fashioned millionaire. I'm just an old-fashioned girl with an old-fashioned fence. And he says, excuse me. <laughs> Aww. Roughly translated, that means, aww. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and Freddie Starr. <laughs> I, but I, but I, but I, but I. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know whether you, you folks know this or not, but ha, 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 have you noticed in, in, in all these murder pictures, the murderer's name is always, uh, yeah. Yeah, the murderer's name is always, uh, I'll prove it to you. You find the body laying there dying. The detective comes in and picks him up and says, Joe, Joe, before you go, tell us, who did it? Who did it? And Joe looks up and says, it was, it was, uh. Thank <laughs> hey, you, Franz. Thank you, Franz. Welcome this edition of Opportunity Knox. Oh, Franz. Franz this evening. Franz this evening. No, Franz. Franz, Franz this evening. Franz. Franz this evening. Franz. <laughs> I think we just about covered everybody. Friends this evening, we have a gentleman that you've seen many, many times before on your television screens. So I know you're going to give a big round of applause, and we certainly want to hear it, Franz. <laughs> we certainly want to hear it now, Franz, for Great Britain's long-lost number one comedian. Ah, uh, ah, uh, well, Higgins, off your billet. And uh, don't forget, this village was formerly occupied by the German troops, so check under your bed for a bomb. A bomb under me bed, sir? Yes, it's an old Jerry trick.
get cherries and pears, but I get bells. <laughs> the kind of voice that says, nobody sleeps while I'm on Miss Ethel Mammon. There's a no business like show business like no business like no. Everything about it is appealing. Everything the traffic will allow. And now can you get that happy feeling when you are stealing that extra bow? There's no People like show people, they smile when they are alone. Yesterday they told you you were not no car, that night you open, and they were right. Went to Gary Cooper, another walk. that most people think the only word I ever say is yep <laughs> well that ain't true because when I get on my horse I say giddy <laughs> yep No, don't get up. <laughs> yeah, I want a dog, do you honestly? Frankly and sincerely. But as you know, old habits die hard. <laughs> Good evening. I'm speaking to you tonight from a rehearsal room where I'm hoping to speak to the world-famous ballet dancer, Rudolf Boryov. <laughs> Mr. Boryov. Good evening, Mr. Boreal. Good evening. Uh, would you like to take a chair? You know, you came to this country from Russia. Now, when exactly did you defect? <laughs> uh, what made you start dancing in the first... <laughs> ...place? Uh, was it seeing other male dancers? Mr. Boryov, I believe... <laughs> I believe uh, many years ago, your father was caught by the Cossacks. <laughs> well, thank you for being so frank. Uh, Mr. Boryov, Bali is very... Very demanding, uh, very physical. I mean, all the moves you have to execute. What's your favorite position? <laughs> well, <laughs> finally, could you tell us what you most like about the ballet? It's the money, isn't it? <laughs> Business here is like a little version of our great nation. The Gospel according to Arthur Daly in Minder, tonight at 8 on Plus. Time Life Music brings you the ultimate classic country collection. Like a rhinestone cowboy. Start with 30 all-time classics for a special introductory price of just $4.99. Jolene, 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 please don't take it even though you can. Then on 
Audition and other great albums from the Classic Country Collection with no obligation to buy. Call the number on your screen now. Use your credit card and get a free bonus album. Call the number on your screen and order the best of Classic Country at this special introductory price. Call now. And you'll know what I mean. Chat and date line today, and you could find your dream date. Call 0906 20 20 200. Call the virtual chat and date line. It's a great way to make friends on the phone. Get straight in on the action and call 0906 20 20 200 to join with the fun. So go on, get in there. Call 0906 20 20 200. That's 0906 20 20 200. Call now. Has the cake arrived? Yep. Yeah. With five candles. That's a nice touch. Bounty paper towels come in a variety of colourful and attractive patterns. Humphrey! Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry. There'll be a lot more of that in a few minutes. And their unique honeycomb structure makes them stronger even when wet. Now available with Peanuts pattern. Bounty, the stronger soaker-upper. Freddy Star. He's a man with many personalities. Meet them all on the Freddy Star Experience. Saturday at 10 on Plus. And to conclude, my impression of a sheep being hit by a golf ball. Good evening, good evening. Yes. I'd like to talk to you tonight about the generation gap. A lot of older people are worried about the permissiveness of the younger generation. We don't get it. <laughs> and that's half the trouble. How's about them? Beautiful song now from Tall the Pops. So how's about beautiful song now? How's about them? So how's about beautiful song now from Colour Pairs? How's about that? And spread it. Thank you, Cliff. Thank you for listening. Ladies and gentlemen, how's about that then for. Who is it? Ruby Keeler. Ruby Keeler. Thank you. <laughs> Big John Wayne, the Oscar winner, who always makes the same entrance the same way. This big old Christmas turkey for these kids, you see. <laughs> and one little boy said, I come from the West. So I gave him the left leg. Another little boy said, I come from the East. So I gave him the right leg. I said to another little boy, Hey, son, where do you come from? And he said, I come from way down south, but I ain't hungry. <laughs> Get off your horse and drink your milk. And now, my impression of the Monte Carlo Grand Prix, in which an Alfa Romeo loses control, plows off the road, and hits a sheep. <coughs> Queen couldn't have done it better. I had a gal, fully nice gal, they named Roxanne White. She was fully nice to me back in the old school day. We smiled all the while, but Daddy didn't know all. What say you say, shot me behind the garden wall? Hey, got a light, boy. Hey, got a light. Hey, I got a lot. Boy. Hey, Mush. Give us half a bit, will you? And give us a full one this time, and I'll put one on you. Well, 
Excuse me, sir, but aren't you Noel Coward? Yes, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Then well, why are you talking like that? It's me say off, and it me say off! <laughs> One, the joint starts a jumping, and the drummer hits something with a clang, clang. <laughs> Comes in like a buster's gap with the clang, clang. A skim a lick, a skim a lick, a ricky dick dick. You a beat it out, brother. There's no other remedy, and that's a plan too. Plenty for me. Shares off now. Nimmo's the name. When I was talking to my congregation, I said, All those people that want to go to heaven, will they all stand up? They all stood up. I said, Right, sit down. All those people that want to go to hell, will they all stand up? One fellow stood up the back. I said, Shame on you, Murphy. He said, No shame at all, Father. I couldn't see you standing up there on your own. <laughs> Hello, good evening, and welcome. Tonight, I have with me a famous star who's just made a film about King Arthur discovering the lost sword Excalibur. I'm the guy that found the lost sword! What a catastrophe! <laughs> and now, Tarzan as Frankie Vaughan. Give me the moonlight, give me the gun, I need the rest. I can give you the starlight Love so tender and blue My God, I needed that The band, the drummer hit somewhere to clang, clang Comes in like a buster's gang with a clang, clang Skimmy lick, skimmy lick, a ricky dick dick Yeah, beat it out of brother, there's no other remedy And that's a plenty, plenty for me Yeah. Eric, I need some expert advice And I thought I'd come to you Of course you did, Arm This boy's a fool <laughs> What can I do for you, Arm? I'm going to do some woodwork, and I wanted to ask you, what was the best type of vice? Women on. <laughs> no, no, the best type of carpenter's vice. Carpenter's women. famous dam busters raid when our gallant bombers raided the Mona Nida dams. I shall depict for you the Wellingtons on their approach flight, the bombs hitting the water and one of the bombers being hit by anti-aircraft fire, going into a dive and finally landing in a field and hitting a sheep. Me. 
This is the point in the program where I introduce a note of culture. Mm -hmm. And I'm just the man to bash it to you. I'm going to do my funny walk now. That's me doing it over there. Mm. I'm doing it quite well today, as I ate up all my breakfast like a good boy. <clears throat> I built a little garden for the rules, and I called it Texas Lane. I built a summer breeze, and it was an old. Well, I went from Texas Lane. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if I was I don't know what was going on. I was the guy. And then I got I don't know. Ain't that beautiful words? Son, I've got news for you. I don't need you anymore, son. I've got my own little act. Own act. Don't need you, son. Come on now. Come out, come out, come and say guy guy. <laughs> guy guy, everyone. Guy guy. <laughs> I'm shocked, shocked to find this brazen, shameless photograph in your locker. I shall go to write to your mother immediately. But, sir, that is my mother. I'll ring her immediately. <laughs> what about Hitchcock? Remember her? <clears throat> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's bar is Mr. Hump. Three It's a messy one. Humpty Goka. You, you dirty rat, you. It's the wrong one. It's all right, I know it was Gary Cooper. <laughs> You're late. Have you got a note? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, well, uh, that's all right, then. <laughs> oh, my lady, sing that song again for me. Ah, you can go and love, and just that love you had me on your knee. A million baby kisses I'll kill ever. If you will only sing my swanny river Rock a boy, you rock a boy, baby Me where that it say Mellow as far as the next general election is concerned We are not giving up We are fighting for it via television Hope you'll all see my show next week It's called Harold's Here Again We've got Roy Jenkins doing excerpts from Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> but you know, as I said to her, esteemed, yachting Prime Minister, poor cold Ted. <laughs> I said it to his face. Both of them. <laughs> Although the opinion polls might show me bottom. <laughs> I still have a very marginal seat. Good night. Thank you. Authors discovered.